Hard to believe Jonathan Feldner, but we are at the main event this week. Six-man tag team action. Jeremy Foster, Wild Billy Buck, and Jacob Ashworth taking on Lars Manderson, the heavyweight champion, B.J. Hancock, and starting off for his team in the ring, the Young Lions champion, Joey Reimer. Yeah, you've got two men starting off right now who at season's beatings in the scramble match for the Young Lions championship. Jacob Ashworth is one of the men that will be vying for Joey Reimer's Young Lions title. And then you've got Billy Buck, and B.J. Hancock that will be in the Anarchy Heavyweight Championship match at the meetings. Well, Jacob Ashworth's partner, Jeremy Foster, will also be one of his opponents in that True. scramble. So, you know, they may be partners this week, but at season's meetings... It didn't it, last long. It's, yeah, it, it's broken down. Looks like my house at Thanksgiving. B.J. Hancock goes through the ropes and out to the floor. Lars Manderson goes out over the top rope as well. B.J. Hancock adjusting the furniture out here at ringside. So he, he, he messes up the stair and smacks Lars Manderson in the head. He's having a little bit of a mental issue. Reimer with shots at Ashworth. Goes into the rope. Needed a midsection, takes Reimer down. They're regrouping. What's on their mind right here? Reimer flies! Oh. The team full of champions right now aren't looking like the champions, Brent. Joey Reimer thrown over the top rope. You know, history little history lesson for you. My former broadcast colleague Andrew Pendleton in the third had his career shortened due to a similar move like that. And the guy he was in the ring with, Joey Reimer. Wow. History sometimes has a funny way of almost repeating itself. It's almost like poetry. Lapjack yeah. Shades of the Midnight Express. And a send time by Foster. Buck goes in for the cover. Gets a two count. Right now, this is just an appetizer for what you're going to see at season's beatings. It's coming up here very, very shortly, right in the Christmas season. So it's, oh my God. You know, next week on the program, we're going to have highlights from season speedings. I can't believe we're already at season speedings. Already at season speedings. It, it just just shows how, God, shows how quickly the years fly by here at Anarchy. I mean, it's, it's hardcore hell, and then it's season speedings. I mean, just like from one end to the other, just so quick. A reversal by Reimer. Billy Buck slides between the legs of the Young Lions champion. Looks like somebody lit a match on Joey Reimer's chest. A tag made, Jeremy Foster. Foster has had several shots at the Young Lions Championship in recent weeks. Has not been able to take the title from Joey Reimer. He has his shot at season's beating because in that scramble match, remember, there can be a multiple number of champions before the time limit expires. Whoever has that final pinfall or submission victory will be the champion. So, I mean, a double team there by Manderson and a power bomb by Reimer. Ooh. He didn't land too gingerly on that exchange. A tag made, now B.J. Hancock comes in. Jeremy Foster in there with the heavyweight champion. Trying to scoop up what's left. Jeremy Foster wasn't having it. You know, I, I made a comment at the start of the show referring to Hancock as the world heavyweight champion. He is the anarchy heavyweight champion, in his own mind, a world champion. The way he acts, he's, he's the champion of everything. You see the transformation that B.J. Hancock has went through over the past, over the whole year this year. He's just turned into a wholly, a whole different animal. You know, as, as we go into the end of the year, I made a comment last year saying that I thought Hancock would be the one to watch this year, and he's proven me right time and time again. Now that the site's set on 2015, who's going to be the one to watch next year? I couldn't even muster up a guess. I wouldn't be shocked if it was one of these two men in the ring right now, Manderson or Foster. They certainly have all the tools, both of these men. They have the tools to make an impact in Anarchy Wrestling. Has your computer been slowing down? Are you having problems with email? Or when you go to the internet, is it taking so long to load that it seems like the worldwide wait? I'm Luke Ford, CEO of My Computer Works. We help people just like you. With one easy call, our friendly US-based technicians will connect directly to your computer and fix the problem for you. 
Think about it. No strange computer geeks coming into your home and no more lugging your PC into one of those superstores. This isn't some magical piece of software that makes you do all the work. This is a real live, knowledgeable US-based computer technician that will patiently help you fixing your personal computer problems for you. Call today and we'll help you today, right now. If your computer is slowing down, trouble printing, or you just can't seem to send and receive email, don't wait. No more slow computer, no more frustration. Call the number on your screen to get help right now. My computer works. Does yours? Foster kicks away at the leg of Manderson. Smart thing to do is tall. How tall do you figure Lars Manderson? 6'5? Good 6'5. Good 6'6 six, six, six at least. I have to look up at him, and I'm 6'3 if that tells you anything. He's calling Jeremy Foster a kid, and I'm pretty sure Reimer's younger than Foster. Well, Reimer's on his team, so I don't think he would acknowledge that fact. At least I wouldn't think so. Forearm rocks the heavyweight champion. Headbutt? Why don't we just headbutt somebody, why don't you? Whip into the corner. Foster up to the middle rope. Getting that leg up just at the right time. Rides the knees all the way down into the chest of the heavyweight champion, P.J. Hancock. This could be the opening that Foster was looking for. If he ever had an opening right now, he needs to capitalize on it. He needs to get attacked to either Billy Buck or Jacob Ashworth. This might be his last chance. Hancock seems to be getting up faster. As he rolls over, he needs to make the tag. Tag made to Reimer. They got it to Buck. Clothesline misses. Big elbow takes Reimer down. And another one takes him down again. Reimer whipped into the rope. Reversal. Knee to the back. Boom. Shot to the face. Kick to the face. And a Samoan drop by Wild Billy Buck, the former Anarchy Heavyweight Champion. Now he's in there with the current champ, a high knee by B.J. Hancock. There comes Ashworth. What's he got on his mind? A reverse DDT. Ashworth's going for the pin. He's not even a legal man. Again, the war between Manderson and Ashworth as they go to blows inside the ring. You got to think somewhere on down the line, these two men are going to have a match, and they're going to settle it once and for Manderson all. Manderson goes up and over, hard to the floor. Ashworth right out there after him. Foster the only one left in the ring. Well, this is just completely and broken down. I, I don't believe Foster's even a legal per the legal man. I'm pretty sure the legal men are uh, Reimer and Buck. Foster's up top. Check this out. No! Dives on to everybody. Including his own teammate, knocked them all out. Melee and madness here in the main event this week. Chaos and Cornelia, if you will. I, lo I love it. Good wordplay. Sounds like a Christmas special. <laughs> Everybody is down. So the referee starts to count. I don't know who's got the count on. Manderson and Ashworth are up, but I don't believe they're the legal man. D. Byers is counting. I, who's legal? I think Buck and Joey Romer are the legal men right now. I don't even think Manderson and Ashworth are worried about the six men. They're just worried about tearing each other apart. They're, they're fighting towards the back. Making the way back up to the ramp. They're gone. Well, uh, our main event has just turned from a six-man to a tag team match. Billy Buck's in there with the heavyweight champion, his opponent in the main event at season's meetings. Looks like he's setting him up for the Buck shot. Well, look at Rachel over there in the corner. What's going on? Way to roll up. One, two, and three. Your winners of the match, the team of Lars Madison, Joey Reimer, and BJ Hancock. You clearly saw what just happened. Did you not? Everybody in this building just saw it.
can't call it. No, no, absolutely not. This is the heavyweight champion. He won. He won this match. No, 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 don't even say anything, Franklin. Don't say a thing. Because the whole time that BJ has been heavyweight champion, you've done everything in your power to try and get rid of it. And you know, I am tired of it, Franklin. You're just a fan with a little bit of money who bought a company so he can get the limelight. You need to figure out what your place is. You can't just credit Strong words for the anarchy owner. Just a little bit. And keeping this title. You know what? I'm tired of you. Did she just slap him in the face? Uh-huh. What in the hell? You know what? <laughs> D. Byers is a referee of great quality, and what happened in this ring will stand tonight. But in two weeks, B.J. Hancock will defend that title against Billy Buck. And I hope that you just enjoyed that little slap that was as cheap as you are. Because you are barred from this building. Uh oh. A tremendous announcement. Franklin Dove has barred Miss Rachel from the building for season's meeting. There you go.